Ever heard of a groundbreaking 1965 TV series that combined espionage with humor? Enter I Spy, a show that redefined the spy genre. Starring Robert Culp and Bill Cosby, the series follows two undercover agents posing as tennis pros, globetrotting their way through assignments. Now, here's the hook. There are loads of funny, shocking, and sad facts about the making of I Spy. So, keep your eyes peeled for those tidbits as we dive into the story. Quick question, do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Or, out of the various roles, which one was your favorite? Feel free to share your thoughts because we would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's uncover the fascinating world of I Spy and the behind-the-scenes moments that make it a classic. I Spy wasn't just a TV series, it marked a significant change in the spy genre landscape. Premiering in 1965, it seamlessly blended espionage with humor, featuring Robert Culp and Bill Cosby as undercover agents posing as tennis pros on globetrotting assignments. The show's unique premise and the chemistry between the leads garnered widespread acclaim during its time. The influence of I Spy on popular culture was profound. Breaking Barriers, it was the first American television series to feature a black actor, Bill Cosby, in a lead role. This breakthrough shattered racial norms, paving the way for greater diversity in subsequent shows. The dynamic duo of Culp and Cosby not only entertained but challenged societal norms, leaving a lasting impact on television history. The show's reception during its original run was outstanding. Viewers embraced the fresh take on espionage, and I Spy became a cultural phenomenon. The clever combination of thrilling spy missions with comedic elements resonated with audiences, making it a staple in living rooms across the nation. Beyond its initial success, I Spy created a legacy that extended far beyond the small screen. The show's influence was evident in the creation of various spin-offs, each attempting to capture the magic of the original series. Merchandise flooded the market, with fans eager to own a piece of the I Spy universe. The show's impact reached beyond television, seeping into everyday conversations and inspiring other forms of media. The adaptation of I Spy into different mediums showcased its lasting appeal. The characters, the humor, and the espionage elements proved timeless, ensuring a lasting impact. The ripple effect of I Spy continued to shape the entertainment landscape with echoes of its influence found in subsequent spy-themed productions. In conclusion, I Spy wasn't just a TV show, it was a cultural force that challenged norms and left a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. From its groundbreaking casting choices to its innovative blend of genres, I Spy remains a powerful example of storytelling shaping perceptions and pushing boundaries. I Spy made a lasting impact on entertainment, reshaping the spy genre and influencing later TV shows and movies. The show, which aired in 1965, was groundbreaking in casting Bill Cosby as a lead actor, breaking racial norms, and promoting diversity in the industry. This decision not only showcased Cosby's acting skills, but also changed the representation of black actors on television. During its original run, I Spy engaged audiences with its mix of humor and exciting spy missions. The chemistry between Robert Culp and Bill Cosby challenged societal norms and left a strong impression on television history. The show's success extended beyond the small screen, sparking discussions about the blend of genres and the importance of diverse casting. I Spy's influence continued after its initial run, leading to the creation of spin-offs and a flood of merchandise. The show's unique storytelling, combining humor with espionage, became a winning formula that other productions tried to replicate. In the spy-themed productions that followed, traces of iSpy's influence are noticeable. The show's legacy shaped perceptions and pushed boundaries with adaptations into different mediums, highlighting its timeless appeal. As we explore the impact of iSpy, it's clear that the show was more than just a TV series. It was a cultural force that broke barriers and left a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. Its influence on subsequent spy-themed productions continues to resonate with audiences, making it a pivotal moment in television history. I Spy faced constant money problems due to filming in many foreign places. The show often went over budget, making it a challenge. Near the end of the second season, it was revealed that Alexander Scott and Kelly Robinson started their undercover roles in 1964. Scott began on May 15th and Robinson on August 12th. They both were undercover agents at the G4 level, which added detail to their roles. Surprisingly, Bill Cosby wasn't initially interested in the series and even insulted the producers during his audition. 
Robert Culp, who helped mediate, played a big role in resolving their issues. This highlights the teamwork needed to bring the two main characters to the screen. These details about money troubles, undercover timelines, and casting challenges give a peek into the making of I Spy beyond the story we see on screen. The show, mixing spy elements with humor, shows how making groundbreaking television can be complicated. Earl Hagen, the talented composer behind well-known TV themes like The Andy Griffith Show and The Dick Van Dyke Show, also created the theme music for the spy series we're exploring. His sultry piece, Harlem Nocturne, showcases his musical talent, adding to the unique feel of the show. The undercover team of Kelly and Scott worked for the Special Services Agency, a part of the Pentagon. This government connection made their covert missions feel more real, grounding the series in a believable, though fictional, world of espionage. It's a small detail that adds depth to the story, giving us a peek into the bureaucratic side of their high-stakes missions. Mad Magazine playfully made fun of the show in a parody titled Why Spy, highlighting its influence on pop culture. This humorous take shows how the show was recognized and had an impact beyond just being on TV, reaching into the world of funny publications. Behind the scenes of I Spy, there were challenges in its production. Filming in many foreign locations often meant dealing with budget limitations, a constant problem for the creators. The financial struggles of the show reveal the difficulties of bringing innovative television to life, showing the dedication needed to produce engaging content. As we learn more about the series, it's interesting that Alexander Scott and Kelly Robinson took on their undercover roles in 1964, giving us a timeline of their spy adventures. The G4-level designation adds a specific detail, showing us the details of their undercover identities. Bill Cosby initially wasn't interested and made bold comments during his audition, providing a behind-the-scenes tidbit. It was Robert Culp's involvement that played a crucial role in solving the casting issues, highlighting the teamwork and negotiations involved in bringing these characters to the screen. This insight adds depth to the collaborative effort behind the series' production. So, beyond the thrilling spy missions and funny escapades, I Spy stands out as a series with a varied production journey, including musical talent, government connections, humor nods, financial challenges, and casting dynamics. These elements together contribute to the show's notable place in the history of television. Bill Cosby and Robert Culp, the lead actors of the series, maintained a lasting friendship even after the show concluded its production. Despite facing challenges in the third season, including a decline in ratings due to a change in time slot, the bond between them endured. The decision to move the series to Monday nights, pitting it against the Carol Burnett show, contributed to the decline in viewership. When NBC presented executive producer Sheldon Leonard with the option to renew the series or create a new one, he opted for the latter. This led to the production of My Friend Tony instead of extending it. Leonard believed that the show's syndication value would diminish, and both Cosby and Culp were relieved that it was cancelled, having grown tired of it. I Spy holds the distinction of being the first American dramatic TV series to feature a black actor in a lead role. The scripts incorporated unique lingo, with the catchphrase wonderfulness gaining popularity. This phrase later became the title of one of Cosby's comedy albums, showcasing its lasting influence on his career. The series' groundbreaking nature was evident in its influence on popular culture. The blend of espionage and humor challenged societal norms and set the stage for greater diversity in subsequent shows. The chemistry between the lead actors resonated with audiences during its original run. Despite the challenges faced in its production, the show remains a pivotal moment in television history, leaving a memorable impact on the entertainment industry.